heating and cooling curve of water. It is basically the graphical representation of the change of states. The change of states can be shown on a graph plotted against temperature on y-axis and time on x-axis. The heating curve shows the phase and temperature changes caused by slow heating of a block of ice. The cooling curve shows the phase and temperature changes caused by cooling of water vapors. To explain the heating curve of water, temperature is taken as y-axis and time as x-axis. When ice is heated, its temperature increases and after some time, the temperature becomes constant. This refers to 0 degree centigrade, the melting point of ice. During this period, the heat is utilized to overcome the attractive forces and both the liquid and solid states coexist at this temperature until all the ice has melted. Heating beyond this temperature converts ice into liquid water. The sudden increase in the temperature refers to increase in kinetic energy of the particles and the water gets warmer and warmer until there is no further rise in temperature. This refers to 100 degree centigrade, the boiling point of water. The liquid and gaseous states coexist here and the temperature stays at 100 degree centigrade until all the water has turned into water vapors, shown by a sudden rise in temperature. Cooling curve of water shows temperature changes recorded at intervals on cooling the water vapors back to ice. Cooling decreases the kinetic energy of the particles and increases the attractive forces present between them. So cooling curve is the mirror image of heating curve. Thus, when the water vapors are cooled, the temperature decreases to a certain point and then becomes constant. The temperature at this point is 100 degrees centigrade, the boiling point of water. During this time period, the water vapors are condensing, so both liquid and gaseous state coexist at this temperature. A sudden decrease in temperature shows that all the vapors have been converted into liquid state. The temperature again becomes constant at 0 degree centigrade, which is the freezing point of water. The temperature remains constant and solid in the liquid states coexist until all the water freezes to ice. And this is shown by a sudden decrease in temperature. The heating and cooling curves help us to study the temperature changes along with the phase changes. The sharp points in the graph represent the melting and boiling points of the substance. At constant temperature in both the graphs, heat is utilized to overcome the attractive forces and physical states coexist during this time period. The increase or decrease in the slope in both the graphs refers to increase or decrease in the kinetic energy and the existence of only one of the physical states.